Speaking of everybody else, here's Alvin Kamara coming in at 17. Who? Yeah, I'm taking Kamara was be, over Antonio Gibson. Who we thought was going to be suspended six games, which is why we have him so low. I think I saw an ESPN uh, magazine have him in like the top eight, um, which theoretically is probably where like he'll go if he wasn't getting suspended currently uh he's going to pick 20 which is towards the, like the middle to end of uh round two espn has him at 10 on their cheat sheet fantasy pros has him at 12 we have him at 17 uh mainly because there's a potential suspension looming. Uh, his trial got pushed back. It was scheduled for like a week ago. It got pushed back two months. And the NFL has said absolutely nothing on him since he was arrested right after the Pro Bowl in February. Yeah, I mean, he's basically expected to be suspended for at least six weeks. Um, at some point. But but then his suspension got pushed back to the end of September. Look, by, by the time they go through all the hoops and the NFL does their own investigation, comes up with their own findings after the cases are closed and everything, he's not going to get suspended this season. It's not going to happen. So we need to adjust the ranks. Um, I am going the only to be, He'll be suspended if there's a video that comes out right before the season, which is what happened to Ray Rice. There was video of the them all jumping on the guy wasn't there i thought i saw that i thought so in the casino um but i think that camara is probably not going to get he will get suspended but it won't be effective this season um it'll suck if they make the playoffs but (laughs) (laughs) if he isn't suspended he's almost a lock for a running back one i mean since he's not suspended where would you put him at in our rankings would you put him above Najee? Probably. Najee's right. running back six. Would you? Yeah, would, so he, he's probably right in there. Six, seven range. Yeah. Um, s- since he came into the NFL as a rookie, he was RB3, then RB4, then RB12. In 2020, he was RB1, and last year was RB9. Like, he's never not been an RB1. This is his sixth year in the well, league. He's a top 10 running back if he's healthy. Period. Period. And and, uh, and he's he's currently going as pick twenty. That's tremendous value. If if you can take, you know, Dalvin or Hen- even Henry, right, and and pair Joe Mixon, pair him with. That's how you win, man. It's like Kamara, and that's then you're how you just, win. Yeah, and you take a tight end in round three and and take all the wide receivers you want the rest of the the draft. Yeah, like Michael Thomas in round six. Yeah, sexy. Can I? Um, and and Kamara is like a reception mis- machine too. And he was dealing with Taysom Hill last year, and still finished as a, as an RB one. More to come on this, but if he's not suspended by the time we're we're drafting guys here in the next couple of weeks, um, which he won't he's be, at because his trial isn't until September. Like he's not going to be suspended. So if hypothetically. Where you can pick any any time, where where would you take him to be like, all right, well, f it, I have to take Kamara. It's uh, pick fourteen. Is that is that the cutoff, or where where are you pulling him the trigger? Assuming he's not suspended by the time you get to drafts. Um, I mean, he won't be suspended become dra- by draft time because you know the season starts the first week after Labor Day or the Thursday after Labor Day. And his trial doesn't start until the end of September. So he won't be. Uh, I will probably draft him at the end of the first round. Churn. Yep. You know? Yeah. If if he makes it to the turn, it's hard to not take him. If I get screwed out of championship week, like, okay. That would suck, but I don't know. Are you pushing him to the second round? (laughs) <laughs> uh i will be interested to see if the nfl just can p- continues to stay mum on it if they say on literally the nothing list. about it um it'll be hard to not not take him at the turn at the latest 